In today's video, I will guide you step by step on how to create a beautiful and professional Shopify store. You will learn how to design your website, add elements that improve the user experience and increase conversions, and optimize the backend settings for better ranking on Google. By the end of this video, you will have all the knowledge you need to make a successful Shopify store, regardless of whether you are dropshipping, selling your own product, or digital product. So without further ado, let's get Get started. The first step is to sign up on Shopify. If you want to create an account while watching this tutorial, head on over to the description down below to find a link that will bring you to Shopify's website where you can sign up. Now, with this exclusive link, you can get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on Shopify for the first month. It's honestly the best deal that you can get on the internet and there is no other deal like it. So moving on to the sign up process, it's actually really simple. Simply click on start free trial and then enter your email address and then just answer some of these basic prompt questions. Once you answer all of these questions, you will be led to your Shopify dashboard. Then you are going to proceed with a plan on Shopify. Shopify has many diverse plans available. So from your dashboard, the first thing you're going to do is in your dashboard, you're going to click on select a plan on the bottom right. From here, you can choose a plan that suits you. I'm going to be proceeding with the basic basic plan and click on continue. Fill in your info and you will be ready to start building your Shopify store. So after setting up your subscription or not, you'll see your dashboard right here. And then to add products, here's what you're going to need to do. The first thing you're going to need to do is click on product on the top left hand panel. Now click on add product. So we need to label our product and add a description. The first thing I'm going to do is add a title for my product, which is going to be bag. Then I can use the AI description writer that Shopify provides. To do that, simply click on this sparkly button right here, which looks like stars. You can put in some features or keywords. This is going to be a bag, this is there, and let's say it's handmade. And once you have put in all of the details, you can choose a tone that you want. I will be using a sophisticated tone and then just click on generate. Now with Shopify's AI assistant, it will write a description according to the keywords that you provide. Once done, you can start adding photos to your Shopify product. To do that, click on upload new over here. Once you click on upload new, upload the images of product. Now, while that's uploading, let's go on ahead and add the pricing. Add the pricing and other price options such as the compare at price and the cost per item to show your margins and profit. So for our particular product, let's say it's 80 and the compare at price is going to be higher than your actual price. This is usually a price that you insert so your product looks like it has been marked down. And let's say my original cost per item is only 40. Now below that, if you are drop shipping, you can leave the track quantity unchecked. But if you want Shopify to track your inventory, then tick this box. Below that, you can also add a physical product weight that is going to be accounted for when it is being shipped. Also, if you're selling a digital product, you can also add this in the shipping settings. So you can either choose whether it's a physical or a digital product. Now you can also add multiple different variants of your products depending on the size, weight, color, or material. For us, let's say we have different color variations. We have it in a skin tone and then we also have it in a green color. And once you add your variants, just click on done and your variants will be inserted. Now you can add the available quantities that you have of both of the variants individually. So let's say I have 500 of each. So you can input those values over here. Now, once you have completed your pictures, description, title, and on the right side, you also have product categorization, which can help you in categorizing your product. So whether it falls under apparel, accessories, or anything. Now, at the bottom of your product, you will see a search engine listing. Now, if you want your product to be the number one search on Google, then you should definitely edit your search engine listing. Still on the add product page, scroll to the bottom and click on edit over here. If the sentence looks weird, then you can edit it. A lot of times they can be a bit weirdly structured. It's really important to edit the meta. Now, this is our meta description. It might not have as many keywords as I would like, so I can add a few more sentences or I can remove a few and I can add some sentences that would better fit a description. So let's say I want to add the 
best handbag uh, budget it provides utility and style like this and just like that you can edit the meta description you can also edit the page title just having bag as the page title might not be that optimized but writing something along the lines of buy a versatile handbag might be something that more customers would be interested in below that you also have the url handle or the web address so if your url is too long and chunky it's better to condense it into a few words for our particular url it's only slash bag so that looks fine once you have completed all of these basic details, there are a few extra details you might want to pay mind to. This includes, depending on the type of product you have, you can go on ahead and take the images that you have of your product and recategorize them, which means that let's say I want to promote my green bag a bit more. I can take the image from the top right and drag it to the front. This will enable my green bag image to be the forefront image. Now, on the right, you have product organization. It is a really necessary feature if you have multiple different types of product. So let's say for us, I am selling a bag. I'll just search for bag over here and I will search for maybe handbag. That would be a bit more accurate of a categorization. So I wanted to say handbags and then the product type is a tote bag. And adding these product organizational details can help in finding your product on Google. You can build different collections and add tags as well. Once this has been completed, just click on save on the top right to save your product. So now that we have our first product, if you need to add more products, just do the same process over and over again, and that is it. Once you hit save, you can see a list of all of the products that you have. Right now, there is only one product collection, and we want to build multiple collections with multiple products. So with multiple products, you want to keep them organized, and you can do so with collections. To do that, just click on product and then click on collections under product on the left panel. Once you do that, click on create collection on the top right hand, and now you can add a title and a description for your collection. So for our collection, this is going to be handbags, and then I can add a description. Below that, you can choose the type of collection this is. I'm going to be choosing manual because I prefer to manually add my products to this collection. Now on the right, you can click on add image and you can add a representative image for that particular collection. I'll be using this image. And you want to add an image for your collection which should represent what your collection is about. Once all of these changes have been made, just click on save on the top right. Now that's saved, go to products and you can manually add your products to this collection collection. Simply open up the product that you want to add, then go into product organization on the right, and then check the collection that you want this product to be in. Click on save on the top right, and now your product belongs to the collection. So we've completed our first in collection. Right now we have our default theme on our store, which is Dawn. And you can totally stick with that. But if you want to spice things up, change your store's theme, you can feel free to check out these pre-made themes on Shopify. That, simply click on online store on the left and then click on themes. Once you do that, scroll down, have a few different available. You have popular free themes, spotlight, refresh, sense, and craft. You can also click on visit theme store and you will get access to all of the different free and paid themes. Now, there are quite a few different types of themes available. There are amazing themes to choose from and you can filter them down by different industries, catalog sizes, and quirky features. A lot of times you may not new theme applied to your website and that is because you need to publish them first. So there are a few different themes available. Let's say I am only looking for some of the free themes. Let's say I want to switch my theme to the origin theme. So I'm going to click on the origin theme over here and if I can even view the demo store, but I'll just click on try theme over here. Once you click on try theme, your the theme gallery on your store so once a theme has been inserted to actually make this your live theme on shopify you're going to have to publish it to do that just wait for the theme to be inserted into the theme library click on publish a pop-up will appear and you have to click on publish once more for it to be inserted now after choosing a theme let's add customizations to our website still on the themes page click on customize on your current theme as we can see in the middle, this is our entire website now. It doesn't look like much, but to do that, the first thing we're going to do is customize our announcement bar. So click on the top announcement bar where it says welcome to our store. 
And of course, you can convert this into a link if you like to a product, to a specific collection. So I wanted to link directly to my product that we just inserted. To do that, just click on the announcement bar. And on the left, you will have the announcement bar info. You will see under your announcement bar on the left, you have the welcome to our store text. Click on this text and then click on the link. Then click on products and then click on the product that you wanted to link to. Whenever someone clicks on this, they will be led to our bag product and click on save on the top right. You can change the text. So let's say I wanted to say buy R now like this and then click on save. Now I've changed the announcement bar. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go into our home page and start customization of the home page. Edit this text, just click on the text and then click on the left panel where the text can be inserted. I wanted to say luxury and bags at a budget like this and the heading. So let's say I want this to be a small heading. Now below that we have this featured product section, which I don't want. To remove this, simply click on the delete icon on the left. Now, after that, we have a image banner. So to add more images or to a different type of banner, we can do it in a few different ways. If you like the standard banner, which is a simple image banner in this theme, but to add a more diverse banner, click on add section, and then you're going to search for image banner or image with text. So simply add an image with text in the left. I'm going to move it up under your rich text. Once you've done that, you're going to click on the image and then click on select image. From here, add a header image that you would like to use for your Shopify store. Then you can choose the size that you want your image to be. So you can choose to adapt it to the image, make it medium, large, or small. Now you also have the image width. So if you want it to be extreme, choose that. If you want it to be small, you can choose that as well. Then you also have the image placement. If you want the text to be on the right or the image to be on the right. You also have your content alignment. So if you want the content or the text to be centered towards the right or towards the left. Now you can also choose to overlap the content a little. And you can also change the color scheme. So as you guys can see, I have now overlapped the text with the image. To further make a distinction, you can see below in your image with text sections on your left, you have two color schemes. The scheme one is applied throughout the section, while the second color scheme is applied to this particular container box containing your text. To add a larger contrast, click on change and change the color scheme for the container box. This will show you a more distinctive look. Now you can customize this however you personally prefer. Once you've changed the color scheme, click on the the text to edit it. Bags for every day. Now below that we also have some other text. We can also use AI text and we can create AI based text by adding a few keywords. So let's say it's bags and then I can add generate text about bags and I'll just click on generate over here and once this has been generated I will just insert the one that I like the best. You can also change the style by simply selecting the text on the top left and then clicking on paragraph. You can choose the type of text that you want for your particular type of section. You can also choose to make it bold as well as make it a bulleted list or a numbered list. Then click on back on the top left. Once this has been completed, you can move forward with the button. So you can click on your button over here and change the button label on the top left. So I will add shop now and button link. I want it to link back to our handbag. So I'll click on the bag over here. Now, once this has been completed, we have created our first section. Now, once our, now our website is coming along, but it's really important to include your store branding and your logo in your website. So to do that, simply go into theme settings on the top left. Once you click on the settings icon, you're going to click on logo and under logo, you're going to click select image. Click on add image and you can upload your logo image over here. Now, once you have uploaded your logo, just select the logo from here here and click on done. Once you're done uploading your logo, you will see it at the center of your header or either on the left side of your header, depending on the type of theme that you are using. You can use your own brand's logo and font by doing this. If you want to further customize the appearance of your brand, you can go into the theme settings, then go into colors and create your own color scheme, as well as go into typography and choose your own standard fonts that you like to use for your branding. Now that we've customized our 
our store, added products, changed the theme, and arranged the website, it's time to go through some settings. To do that, we're going to exit from the top left and go back into our Shopify dashboard. Once this has been done, click on settings on the bottom left and click on your store details. Then click on edit over here and edit the store profile. Over here, you're going to enter your own store name like this. Then add your store phone number and store's email address. Once you've done that, you're going to scroll down and enter your own store currency that you would like to use. Now, below that, you have your time zone that also needs to be correct. Now, after you've done that, you can proceed with actually setting up a payment process processor because right before you're going to launch your store you're gonna want to set up a payment system so that customers can actually complete checkout a so in your settings dashboard click on payments over here on the left once you click on payments you're going to click on choose a provider and from here choose shopify payments this will allow your customers to choose between different payment options like a credit card apple pay paypal and more paypal is available by default and it's better to keep it as it is to to maintain your conversion rates. If you need to delete any of these payment processors, you can always click on manage and delete them individually. Now, once this has been completed, under the checkout option on your store settings, you're going to scroll down and you're going to go into marketing. So simply go into checkout over here and then scroll down. Once you scroll down, you will have marketing options. In your marketing options, you want to click on pre-selected. What this will allow you to do is to add people to your email list and send them marketing emails for more conversion. This is a great tool from Shopify to expand your business and retain customers and invite shipping and delivery. Once you do that, you can set up different shipping rates based on the regions you're shipping to. To add a dynamic range on shipping rates based on the weight or price of the products, now you can set up general shipping rates for either domestic deliveries by adding a flat rate to one zone. You can also go into go to market section and build different markets and set different rates for different markets. If you've imported your product from a different website, the shipping rate is probably already available to you. Now the final step which is setting up our custom domain. To do this, simply open up settings and you're going to go into domains on the left panel. If you already have a domain, click on connect an existing domain and follow the instructions. But if you don't, you can click on buy new domain. Then you can search for the domain that you want to buy. If it's available, then you can can buy it and once done it'll automatically be available to your store. Now before publishing your store you need to make sure to remove its password. To do that just go back into your Shopify store, click on online store on the left and once you click on online store click on remove password. Now once the password has been removed your store is now live and there you have it a complete beginner's guide to setting up your e-commerce website in Shopify in 2024. By following the steps that we have covered you're now equipped equipped to launch your own e-commerce site. Remember, the key to success is to keep experimenting with different products and designs to see what resonates best with your audience. Don't be afraid to use Shopify's extensive resources and community forums for further guidance. Once again, if you want to sign up on Shopify and claim a huge discount and bonus, head on over to the description down below. You can get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on Shopify for the first month. Thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you build your Shopify store. Make sure to go on ahead and leave a like and then I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day ahead.